I call our next category warbling songsters. This group is comprised of birds whose songs can best be described as lengthy warbles. Our first pair is the purple finch and house finch. These two species not only look somewhat alike, they also have similar songs. Listen first to the house finch. Next, the purple finch. Obviously, this is a toughie, but let's listen for a handle. The house finch song is generally more burry sounding. Listen especially for the harsh, up or down slurred zri, which is often near the end of the song. This is perhaps the best handle. Now the purple finch. The purple finch song has a clearer tone, and although it lacks the heavily accented zri notes, the phrases sometimes end with a short downward trill. Let's hear these two finches again. First the house finch with its raspy sounding notes. Next the clearer song of the purple finch. Now to add to the confusion, let's listen to a third species. No, it isn't a house finch or a purple finch. This drab-looking character with the sound-alike song is the warbling vireo. The song is much like the purple finch, but less lively. Listen to the warbling vireo's evenly measured tempo. Another good handle on the warbling vireo vocalization comes at the end of most phrases. Listen here for a distinct upward pitch. Here's the warbling vireo's call. Now we will pair the purple finch with the warbling vireo. First, the lively song of the purple finch. Next, the evenly measured tempo of the warbling vireo.
Our final species in this group is the orchard oriole. This is another bird with a purple finch type warble. Listen, however, for a down slurred weir near the end of the song. The Orchard Oriole song is sometimes said to have a robin-like quality. Listen again to the Orchard Oriole and the down-slurred phrase towards the end of the song. Let's face it, just as some species cannot be correctly identified in the field without knowing the song, there are others, such as the birds in this group, where a good pair of binoculars comes in handy. <laughs>